green card, huh? Green card? I'm from... My rear view mirror was basically dangling from this connector right here. Just like that, and I was like wondering what in the world happened? Somebody broke into my truck. But apparently nobody broke in. Uh, my mirror just fell off right here. goes attached to the windshield just like that, glued on there. And this is the part that basically just smooths around. And what really came off is uh, this part right here, which is the uh, metal portion that goes right behind the mirror mounting itself. So just to kind of give you an idea here, I, re I removed it. It's not that hard to remove. Basically, it's just, uh, it goes just, it slides in here, basically. You just slide it in here, and it pops in. So, this is, I went ahead and grabbed a knife, and I scraped off all the old adhesive right here. And then I sanded it, as you probably see with the with sandpaper, I just sanded it down, and then I wiped it. I went ahead and slightly, lightly just sanded this as well and wiped it, and wiped it with an alcohol, with a little bit of alcohol on the right as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. I'm going to use this, which this is a Permatex rearview mirror adhesive. This is only five bucks, four ninety nine at AutoZone. This side will be up like this. It doesn't go like that, that'll be upside down. Then you'll have to slide the mirror from the bottom and it might fall off. So it has to be upwards like this. Basically just open this up, which is a little activation cleaner activator towel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And this towel, it's stuck to the package itself. So you don't need to worry about removing it. And there's no need for that. So you can just leave the package in there. You want to clean. The top part first. And then you can clean and activate the bottom part. Okay, once you clean that, now what we want to do is grab our adhesive, adhesive, rear view mirror. So we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. So what I did is I just cut off the tip with a razor blade on here. And what I'm going to do now is you just add one drop, one drop. As soon as you add the drop, you're going to put the cap back on there and quickly Stick this to your rear view mirror section. And that's pretty much it. Just let it dry. <laughs> Give it about, I would say 24 hours. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. Got a little rain outside, but this is now dry. Shouldn't go anywhere. Nice and tight. Glued on there, so we're gonna go ahead and pop the uh, rear view mirror back on there so basically uh if you want to you could plug in the uh connector first 
do this portion onto that. As simple as that. Make sure it slides all the way down until you hear it click. See that portion right there needs to click. Okay, and there you have it. This is uh, two days later. It's not raining. This thing is in there pretty solid. Adjust the rear view mirror. 